find a way back to well I'm trying okay jeez <laughs> <laughs> okay, that honestly scared me. <laughs> Howdy homies, I'm the Sunny Side Spud and welcome to Bioshock. Would you kindly join me for this first episode? Um So first things first, I'm playing on medium. I'm not <laughs> very good at first person shooters. Just being honest, I'm trying to jump straight into our episode today to save some of the talking for a little bit later. The game does start with a lot of stories, so I'm going to try to shorten it up a little bit and let the story speak for itself. However, just a heads up, there is no subtitles in the opening scene. I tried to fix it a couple different times, a couple different ways. It just doesn't seem to work. It's something that's wrong with the remastered version. Terribly sorry about that, but hopefully it'll be all right. Um, we're playing on medium. I know this game pretty well, but I am not good at first person shooters yet. This is only my first real gaming PC and uh, I'm still not good. I do, however, think Bioshock has one of the best cold opens of almost any game I've ever played. They told me, son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. Decided for the first Let's Play to do Bioshock because it is Bioshock 1 and 2 are some of my favorite games ever, with Bioshock 2 probably being my favorite game ever. And I think some of the best content on YouTube is people playing their favorite games. Just an opinion of mine, but I figured it was a good place to start. <laughs> My pearls. So there's one of my favorite things about this game is the amount of I need to turn down my headphones. Okay, turning down the volume temporarily pauses the game. That's good to know. Um, there's so much environmental storytelling here. For instance, that very easily could have killed us. <laughs> this whole crash could have killed us. The plane, the propeller could have killed us. Also, this is all physics engine based, so you can push things around. Just a little detail I always thought was cool. Um, wait, can I stand on that? Wait, can I stand on this? <laughs> hey, I never noticed that before. I can't really go high on it, but that's kind of fun. Anyway, fire hurt. I did test it. You cannot die in the fire. I just think it's interesting that it shows a hurt. So, I, I appreciate how from the very beginning of this game, they made it feel like destiny. We were meant to survive this crash. I don't know, I just think, kind of think that's cool. Very fast swimmer. <laughs> Anybody who is in the community for Bioshock knows that this lighthouse is so important to the fandom. Gods or king, only man. <laughs> I have art. <laughs> Sorry, that's really funny to me. I have art subtitles turned on, and it literally just says propaganda. That's a um. Yep, that is propaganda. That is that is fair, actually. 
So throughout this game, we will be seeing so much great environmental storytelling, just slowly building out the world in a way I really, I always appreciated personally, art. Industry. Science. Oh, never mind. Just the Ryan symbol. Sorry. I'm gonna try to let the the scenes play out without talking too much. Ten fathoms. Eighteen fathoms. Fire at your fingertips. Incinerate by plasma. Tower. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose Rapture. I love the aesthetics. Where the artist would not fear the censor. Where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality. Where the great would not be constrained by the small. The sweat of your brow, Rapture, can become your city as well. Big Daddy in the tunnel. Kind of a cool touch, a little bit of foreshadow. Oh, look at the big old whale. Hi. If the commentary, the, the politi politics don't pull you in, the aesthetic certainly should. Between the 1940s adverts and the ocean, I love it. All good things of this earth flow into this rush. So. This game is very much a commentary of um, opposing viewpoints. In the first game, it's all about the idea of capitalism and progress without morality to balance it. Very funny. Hey, Johnny. Bye, Johnny. Bathosphere could handle so much atmospheric pressure of going this far into water, and this thing put a hole in it. That's terrifying to me. I don't know how you survived that plane crash, but I've never been one to question Providence. I'm Atlas, and I aim to keep you alive. Now keep on moving. We're gonna have to get you to higher ground. That's the word I was looking for. Providence. From the very beginning, 
They make it feel providence. You should not have survived the plane crash. You should not have succeeded. It's providence, and it feels like providence. And I think they did a good job of showing that, or making it feel that way, at least. Let it end. Let us ascend. Ryan doesn't own us. Rapture is dead. Attention. All bathos fear of travel is now denied. But clearly, obviously, as he said, there's no strong government here. Oh, God, spoopy. Okay. Oh, it's really dark. Just a bit border. How do you like that, yeah. mister? Now, would you kindly find a crowbar or something? So, Ellie. Splicer, seal Johnny oh. in before they. Goddamn splicers. So, a little peek behind the veil. That's not the button I meant to push. Seized crouch? That seems odd to me. Sorry, I've been playing a lot of like seven days to die in Borderlands where shift is. Oh. Sprint. So, a little peek behind the veil. I had a couple failed recording sessions. So, I learned a couple things. One, when the robot starts shooting the splicer, if you get in between, the robot will shoot you on accident. Just kind of think that's funny. It's not a cutscene. It's all in engine based. Two, this gosh, is also engine based. So sometimes the couch falls very slowly like this to one side. Sometimes it'll come straight down hard rolling and come right here. At one point, it was blocking the way, and I couldn't pass it. I've played this game a lot, but it's a little different every time, and I think that's cool. I think it's cool that they didn't set it up like on a, on a rail track, you know? Oh, hello. Why did those suitcases fall? So, one of my major complaints about this game is how much they say daddy. I hate it. One man's vision. Mankind's salvation. I don't know why I just like breaking the glass on that. Um, so, food. There's a couple of non-carryable items. Food, for instance, raises your health. Um, does nothing else. So, these things will read out like propaganda style stuff but it always says daddy a lot i just i don't like it that word has been ruined for me <laughs> when in doubt and you find a red liquid in a syringe you must shoot it up Doesn't look fine. <laughs> this little fish looks like he just had his cherry popped. Why'd you have to wonder like if that? still got some Adam on? Sure. 
So that was a big daddy. We saw them you all right, boy? before. First time plasma's a real kick from a mule. But there's nothing like a fist full of lightning now, is there? So I meant to point these out before, but there's propaganda banners everywhere. No gods or kings. Only man. The great chain of industry ties and unites us. But it's definitely not a religion, and uh, he's definitely not a dictator. Just keep that in mind. It's very funny. Right? Oh, potato chips. Raises health, doesn't do anything else, but not a bad thing. And then, so, if you ever want to play the game, right click is to switch your uh, weapon type, and left click is to actually shoot it or swing it. Oh shit. You know what, this is actually good. I think I left my laptop bag back. Uh, I... Mm. I'm not seeing it, but it's fine. I'll I'll pick it up at I'll pick it up at Badger Badger's point. It'll be fine. I'm sure it's fine. I've got it. It's insured. That's why every time I play this game, I, I notice some new things. That's oh, I wanted to point this out. I think this is really cool. Um, fish. I think fish are cool. No, um, the fish, you can not hit it with your wrench, but lightning. There it is. It, they just absolutely explode, which I think is kind of fun. Kind of a cool touch that elemental damage matters in that case. The old hack and sack. Oh, okay, so I just accidentally drink alcohol. <laughs> so uh, alcohol, ah, oh god, I always get him confused. I think alcohol raises your health and lowers your Eve. He's still buzzing. So Eve is the ammo essentially for these plasmids, like that. The blue bar in the upper left corner of the screen went down. So it's essentially the ammo, and that's you reloading. Oh, he's fine. I think he's fine. He, he's fine, right? I, I don't think he's fine. He's not fine. He's not fine. Sorry, bro. So anyway, um, back to uh, Eve. <laughs> so I think it's alcohol raises your health and lowers your Eve. Cigarettes raises your Eve and lowers your health. Food just raises your health and nothing else. Where is that coming from? Oh, hey. More banners. Independence. Commerce. Creativity. Liberty. Individualism. Ascendancy. I read that as audacity. <laughs> Which made less sense. That roof looks. What the? <laughs> Look at the roof. Listen, I've got a family. I need to get them out of here. But the splicers have cut me off from them. If you can reach them in Neptune's bounty, then maybe, just maybe. I know you must feel like the unluckiest man in the world right now. But you're the only hope I'll ever see my wife and child again. Go to Neptune's bounty. Find my family, please. Don't know what that rock was doing. Oh. The great chain is guided by our head. Wait. 
none. Why aren't you here? Why is it today and not then when you were warm and sweet? Why can't mommy hold you to her breast and feel your teeth? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna like... So yeah, the splices... Yeah, changed stuff. everything. They destroyed our bodies, our minds. We couldn't handle it. Best friends butchering one another. Babies strangled in cribs. The whole city went to hell. Yeah, so they were really messed up in the head. Notably, she, in her mind, she was singing to her baby first, but it was just a real It's rough, honestly. I really can't make out with this. Oh, it's Atlas. Like, the, uh, the Titan with the world on his back. It's kind of hard to tell, but that's a blown up planet. Like, globe. That's cool, I guess. Wait, did I say 50? 40s earlier? I meant 50s. Sorry if I misspoke. You'd think I've played this game enough times, I would know. I don't have the best memory, to be honest. Where is that coming from? I hate that feeling. Okay, so... Oh. Sorry, I'm, like I said, I'm not necessarily all that good at these games. <laughs> Still getting used to, like, headphones, honestly, while gaming. And uh, I'm a very paranoid gamer. I'm very susceptible to the, to the scare tactics of these games. <laughs> Ooh, money. What? Oh, God. Sounds like somebody's really close, but I don't think they actually are. Why is that glowing? What the f fuck? <laughs> okay, anyway, back to the booze. It floats. The technology of Rapture is truly beyond our own. <laughs> Seriously, why is it floating? Okay, so now it sings. If you spot a splicer in the water, hit him with the electro bolt. Nice, I got him both. So, as we saw with the fish, you know, lightning is good against, you know, things in water, which is cool. Um, I like the Pokemon logic there, you know. <laughs> I, I say that as if it's only Pokemon logic. It does just make sense. As you saw, smoking the cigarettes brought down my health, up my eve. So, Diane McCluck, trying to... Try, I don't know how to say her last name. <laughs> try to keep her in mind, though, because she actually returns in those audiobooks. But this is the explosion you can hear in the background. Or should I say, that's one of the things that happened. Presumably, that's the explosion we heard. 
find a way back to well i'm trying okay jeez <laughs> <laughs> okay, that honestly scared me. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Okay, let's. Okay, so she's right here. <laughs> let's. I told you, I'm very susceptible to this. I hit shift on accident. <laughs> wow, I'm bad. Oh man, why why did that get me so bad? <laughs> I. Son of a gun, hitting shift, this is going to be such a thing. Um, the other thing about the alcohol is uh, you can get drunk. I don't think this will... Yep, there you go. Ooh, yeah. Nice and zooted. That's the way to play this game. It's the way to play horror games. Uh, interestingly enough, the more you drink, the longer... What the hell is that sound? Oh, you can use the phone, by the way. Um... The more you drink, the longer you're drunk, which of course makes sense. I'm too spiced up. I'm too spiced up. Nobody's gonna want me. Oh, I don't like the blood into this, and then the door is still closed. My zombie game instincts is telling me something's coming out of there. Hey, Brenda, you care to tell me why you've been Immersion. Rock coming out of your crapper going on three weeks now? Nah, I ain't saying I'm Shakespeare. I'm trying to run a respectable theater. Go. I got working folk coming in from Port Neptune trying to catch a little diversion. And all they can think about is the stink coming out of your shutter. Get it fixed. Okay. I didn't want to interrupt that, but uh, this is true game immersion. You can flush the toilets and wash your hands. And the water is disgusting. Hell yeah. I feel like there's probably more stuff in these toilets, but I'm not willing to dig around in there. Careful now. Would you kindly lower that weapon for a minute? That was my hand, not a weapon. You think that's a child down there? Yes. Don't be fooled. She's a little sister now. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. Whatever you thought about right and wrong on the surface, well, that don't count for much down in Rapture. Those little sisters? They carry Adam, the genetic material that keeps the wheels of Rapture turning. Everybody wants us, everybody needs us. So, the two major things are for the splicing and the uh, plasmids are called Adam and Eve. So you can see we, we inject Eve as ammo, and she is extracting Adam right now. So they say that genetics is the canvas adam is the paint and eve no adam is the paintbrush and eve is the paint and the art is the plasmids oh she's drinking it gross mystic mystic Here comes the consequences. I feel like I shouldn't be standing right here. Oh. Um. Okay. Hi. Hi, Daddy. real messed up so yeah the big daddies have a working drill for an arm and it's awesome so totally the game wants you to shoot this but you know save your ammo press p to save the game okay thanks game it's here well we're actually going into about 30 minutes so we'll go why can't i move Oh, I'm stupid. Sorry. I had my finger on the wrong button. I'm still new. I'm sorry. We'll go just a little bit longer because there's a... something I totally don't know about coming up. Clean it up! Clean it up! 
I don't know, this game, I've played it enough times that I should remember things and like, they shouldn't get me as bad anymore, but as you saw, things I should have known about still get me. I still yelp sometimes. So, it's a good game. Love this game. This one-two punch as, um... How did I forget his name? That's gonna bother me now. But as our, you know, our introducer called it, the one-two punch will stop being effective, like, fully eventually. Um, but for now, I'm gonna utilize it where I can, save my ammo. Like I said, we're only playing on medium, but I'm such a paranoid gamer. You should see me playing seven. I'm I have to be braver because my wife plays with me, so I'm, you know, I'm the tough guy that goes around the corner, but uh, I am very easily spooked in these games. <laughs> Which is funny because I love horror stuff, I just, I'm also very easily spooked. Okay, so this is an arena. Big battle arena. I am a coward, so I'm going to back myself into this corner. Here they come. And if I can time it right. Oh, hello. Okay, so I have a bit of a blind spot if I'm too far over. It's good to know. One and two. Okay. Oh, ooh, it caught the fir third person too. Nice. For those of you who like... Oh, God! <laughs> I didn't know there was a turret back there. Oops, okay. So for those of you who like replay value, uh, finishing the Metal Pavilion, I think it's at the end of the Metal Pavilion, is where you can start your new game plus and... Uh, oh, Christ! You're trapped! Atlas, that's it. Try to override the exit from here. Cool, cool. I'm gonna so watch tell me, friend, content. which one of the bitches said to you, the KGB wolf or the CIA general? Here's the news. Rapture isn't some sunken ship for you to plunder. And Andrew Ryan isn't a giddy socialite to be slapped around by government muscle. And with that, farewell. Or does the bomb you, whichever you <laughs> Okay, so, as we saw with the fire, I like it when a game punishes you for being stupid. Sadly, this is not one of those moments. No matter how long you wait, swing, try to shoot them, they never come over, which is kind of a disappointment to me. I like a game that when you dick around, you get uh, punished for it, you know? fuck around, find out. I, I prefer a game that gives you that consequence in this one. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but sadly you can't just wait for them to break through. But I do however think this is a good place to stop for today. So, you can hear the circus of value, that thing always creeps me out. That will do it for today's first episode of Bioshock. Would you kindly join me for the next one? Hopefully I figured out how to put everything in a playlist and it should be down below, I think. Um, and yeah, do all those things that help us, um, you know, get more popular, I guess. Like, subscribe, all that, whatever, whatever they say. Um, thank you. Thank you for getting for joining and uh, have a nice day and uh, peace.